Hi, I'm Livingston, founder of Dexity Photography, and welcome to The Good Light. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the ideology of photography, the ideology of taking pictures, the ideology of lighting, the ideology of retouching. Now let me explain a bit. When I say ideology, I am referring to the mindset when I'm taking pictures, or the mindset when I'm lighting, or the mindset when I am retouching. I want to share some of my ideas with you and tell you what you should be thinking about when you are taking a picture. So let's begin with the ideology of taking pictures. When we talk about a good picture, what makes a good picture? Let me define that with this ideology. Now, before you take a picture, you surely do have how you want the image to look like in your mind's eye. Now, if you're, you're able to translate what is in your mind's eye to the back of your camera, that is what makes a good picture. Now, remember, it's relative. What you may think is good may not be good to me, or what I may think is good is not good to the other person. But the most important thing is that the idea that you had in your mind, is it what you see at the back of your screen or on your computer? Once you have that set, that is what makes a good picture. Now that good can be improved upon by le learning to light better, by finding a better background, and so many other things. But most importantly is, is what was in your mind's eye, what you have at the back of your screen. And that is a good picture. Another ideology that I want to talk about has to do with when you are about to take a picture. That few seconds, that just, just that moment before you take a picture. And when you look inside the camera, you see the frame. You have to be able to picture, like think up ahead a little. Like in this picture, if I click the shutter, is this how it's going to look like? And is that how I like the picture? That is one question you have to ask yourself. Now, most people just go like this and then they just click. But the idea should be this. You have your camera, you put it in front of your face, and before you click that shutter button, you look to the side. So if you pay attention to my eyeball, you can see that the eye goes here, 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 here. You check your edges and see that everything is exactly as you want it. Then you also check your level. If you have your horizon, make sure that it is actually straight and not turned to the side. So you adjust yourself, check all your angles, look at the people you're shooting and make sure that they are where they are. No one is out of focus or no one is blinking or anything before you press the shutter. That is the ideology of the few seconds before you take the picture. So it's not just like, hey, click, 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 no. But rather, take it there, look, plan, yes, that's the scene, that's the frame that I want, no, it's not, and click. That's how you get a good picture. Now that is what you have to see in your frame. What about the subject? Before you actually click again, you also have to pay attention to your subject. Are they posed right? Are they leaning forward or are they leaning back? Are they tilted? Are they looking exactly as you pictured it in your mind's eye, as I talked about earlier? Before you take that picture, calculating all these things should be within one or two seconds. So the camera just doesn't go and then click. But it's there, click. So within that time frame, adjust everything as it should be exactly as it is. So that you get everything right in camera. When you get into Photoshop or Lightroom, it will be less work for you to do. And trust me, it will save you a lot of time. Because I know it's fun shooting more than sitting behind the computer and editing. Well, unless for some few people who actually like to sit down for a long time, and, you know, that's different. But we love shooting a lot. There are so many other things that I could talk about, but let's just stick with this for now. If you have questions, you can leave it in the comment section below. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know, that button right there. Don't be shy. Subscribe. Are we done? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs>